Good morning and welcome to Cindy's Kitchen. Do things look different? We're on a field trip today. Welcome, if you're brand new, Cindy's Kitchen is a cooking community. There are a lot of cooking shows on, but there's a difference between a cooking video and a cooking show. We sit and chitty chat. We have fun, we get to know each other because today, in today's society, you need people. So these are our people. Come be one of our people. If you wanna be one of our people, if you're brand new, make sure you say hello and tell us where you're from. We're gonna spend the first five minutes telling everybody hello and enjoying our coffee, and then we'll get to cut. Then we'll get to cooking. Good morning, Gail. Thank you very much. I missed you too. Hello, Joanne. Kathleen from Illinois. Good to see you. Julie from Northwest Houston. Good to see you. Nell from North Carolina. Joan, thank you so much. I'm glad to be back too. It's been a an, an adventure in Houston. Hi, Katrina, Deb, good to see you. Yes, Houston, uh, all of you folks in the north that are used to uh, really cold weather and ice and snow, I, I bow to you because we have nothing down here and it's been, uh, it was an adventure last week. Thank you, Joanne, I missed you guys too. Hi, Lydia, yes, things are much better. Heather, hi, yes. Oh, my show is the highlight of your day. We need to get, we need to help you, but we need to come up with something because, oh my, but I appreciate you saying that. All right, um, so obviously, if you saw, I said we're on a field trip. This doesn't look like my kitchen, does it? Because we're not in my kitchen. When all of this started um, and we didn't have power and we didn't have water, um, a friend of mine posted uh, that, um, I could come do Cindy's kitchen at her house if I would leave the food. And and so I kind of joked and said, well, I'll come do Cindy's kitchen at your house and I'll leave the food, but could I have a shower? Cause you know, it was getting a little gamey at our house. Uh, and she was like, sure. So I'm gonna introduce you to our, our host today. Um, uh, so Christy, you wanna come on? This is my friend, Christy. Hello. Say hi, Christy. So Christy is uh, an EMT, right? Yeah, paramedic. A, a paramedic. So Christy, tell them about yourself. Um, I live over here on the northwest side next to the Purtles almost. And um, my husband's been doing work for y'all for forever. Yeah. And so that's how Like 20 years. All. Yeah. And so... Um, so I've known her husband longer than she's known her husband. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so Glenn makes our house beautiful. He is done. He's a, a, a magician when it comes to um, making beautiful things. And so we are very lucky to have them in our family. And we're very lucky that she said we could come to her kitchen. Yes, as long as you left the food. <laughs> yes. So we're leaving the food. All right, are you ready to get started? Yep. Okay, so I had um, uh, Christy making instant mashed potatoes. Hey, Kim. Hey, Brenda. Good to see you. Hi, Janet. Hi, Linda Sue. Um, and so um, I was trying to think of something. They have a 12-year-old a daughter, Gabby. I wanted Gabby to be on, but Gabby's a little shy and she's got school. So you're stuck with Christy and I. <laughs> so, um, But we got to do coffee clinks before we, we get started, right? So everybody raise your cup. You know, even though that I'm not home, there's a Polish pottery mug. And because Christy's here, Christy got a Polish pottery mug. So we do cheers. Everybody cheers. Cheers. Raise your coffee or your tea or Christy's drinking lemonade, I think. Mmm. Mm. There you go. Hey, Margaret. See, they're saying hi to you. Oh. Hey, Nina. Hello. See, Brenda says, thank you, Christy. Coffee clinks. <laughs> so what I did is I told... Um, I told Christy she could pick which one she wanted, and so she, she picked the Blue Spring Daisy one. So now she has a Polish Pottery Bistro mug. So cool. <laughs> Cheers. All right, we got to get cooking. Mmm. No, we have power and we have water. I'm going to tell you the story of my MacGyver husband as we cook. We're gonna be making barbecue cottage pie today. Now we've made it before, um, but because I was going on a field trip, I thought this might be a good recipe because it is kind of a dump recipe. You know how I like dump recipes. The only thing that I have that you may go, well, but I don't have that done, and if you don't, I'll just shake my finger at you, is cooked hamburger meat, okay? 
Do you remember this episode? Hamburger magic. Because you know I cook those big things of hamburger magic, or hamburger. I steam it in the, in the steamer so that all the oil and the grease goes out. Um, uh, Deb says, hi, hey Christy, thanks for bringing Cindy back. <laughs> And then I bag it up after it's cooled and put it in the freezer. The great thing about this is, no matter what's going on, you can grab it, and basically any meal that requires cooked hamburger becomes a dump recipe, which you know I love. All right, that was your first Polish pottery cup. Cool. All right, so Christy went ahead and made instant mashed potatoes, and I know you might want to kind of roll your eyes, and me too, um, but... When you're in a hurry and you want something just zippity zip, this is a good recipe. You can go ahead and make fresh mashed potatoes if that's your thing. All right, so we're gonna get started. Um, I gotta preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Christy's gonna do that. And um, normally I would tell you to get a uh, nine by 13 and spray it with, but I'm not gonna spray it because you know it's Polish pottery and quite frankly, it doesn't stick anyway, all right? This is, isn't this a beautiful, um, well, Patricia, we'll have to talk to you about it. Uh, this is the hidden dragonfly. You see the dragonfly right there? There it is. Isn't this gorgeous? It was one of my favorite, favorite patterns. Um, just because it looked happy. And so, you know how I feel about making people happy? Not only is Christy getting um, a, a thing full of cottage pie, but Christy's getting the, look at this. Christy's getting the dish. Thank you. You're welcome. So now Christy has two pieces of Polish pottery, a 16-ounce bistro mug, and a lasagna platter. There you go. So I'm not going to spray it, but if you have one, you spray. All right, so now we have a mixing bowl. I, I don't have mine. I'm using hers, but in a large mixing bowl, we're going to add our hamburger meat. And so about a pound of hamburger meat cooked. Mine was in the freezer, but obviously it's now defrosted. All right, so there's my hamburger meat. See, yum and quick and easy. Truly is a dump recipe. Now to that, we are going to add a package. Look at this, eight ounce package. Is it eight ounce? Well, this is 12, but whatever. Somewhere between eight and 12. You can use mixed veggies. This is peas and carrots. Why peas and carrots? Um, it's peas and carrots because I don't know that green beans go in a cottage pie. So there you go. You're going to bring Christy to the dark side of MPP. That's right. I'm going to make her love Polish pottery. Hey, Jan. Thank you. All right. So we're going to dump. These are kind of defrosted because I took them out of the freezer this morning. So frozen peas and carrots. Dump. So you love dump. Okay. Uh, then we're going to have to add uh, barbecue sauce. Now we need a half a cup. <clears throat> I'm not measuring. I'm, make, I'm messing up Christy's house. Uh, so we're going to need a half a cup of um, barbecue sauce. This is a 28 ouncer. Half a cup. There we go. That looks like a half a cup of barbecue sauce. All right. You have any ketchup? Yeah. I forgot to bring my ketchup. I brought stuff over in a tote. Um, but there were some things I didn't buy bring because I was like, oh, Christy will have that. Christy will have that. All right. So uh, she's got the Whataburger ketchup. In Texas, I don't know where you are, but in Texas, if you're going to have ketchup, it's the Whataburger ketchup. Is it that different? Why, well, yes, it is. All right, so we need a fourth of a cup. Mama's, mama's arthritis is, is, okay, you know what? Look at this. A fourth of a cup <laughs> of ketchup. There we go. So it's kind of like we're making meatloaf already. Okay, to this, we're going to need to add some uh, seasonings, right? So we're gonna need granulated garlic. Christy had some. We're gonna use a teaspoon. Ready? La 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 la. Teaspoon. There you go. You order that online. And the spicy one. Oh, the spicy one is good. Do you like the spicy? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you eat Whataburger, what is your favorite thing at Whataburger? What is yours? Um, the bacon cheeseburgers. Bacon cheeseburger. Okay, that's good. They had this barbecue thing once. It was like a patty melt, but it had poblano pepper stuff. Oh, yeah, like Lynn gets that. Oh, it's way too much, and it's greasy, and but oh, my gosh. Then you have to go on a diet for three weeks after that. 
Okay, so what do we have in here? We have cooked hamburger meat. We have a package of frozen peas and carrots. We have a half a cup of barbecue sauce and a quarter cup of ketchup, a teaspoon of granulated garlic, and then we need salt and pepper, okay? Whoa, I just took it off. So um, uh, a half a teaspoon of salt, you know how I measure, right? I hope that- They right. twist weird. Okay, maybe I twisted. See, if I don't get this back on the next time Christy uses this, okay, I better just do this, it'll right? Be oh, it'll be Glenn. <laughs> oh, it'll be Glenn. I'll get in trouble. And a half a teaspoon of black pepper, okay? So we got that in there. Now, I brought my smoked paprika because, you know me, everything needs some smoked paprika. You still haven't had a Chick-fil-A. <gasps> oh, Chick-fil-A is a little slice of heaven. You got to have Chick-fil-A. Hey, Joy, good to see you. All right, so I'm gonna put in a half a teaspoon or so of smoked paprika. Just gives it that oh my flavor. Doesn't everybody need some oh my? Okay, let's mix, shall we? Mix, mix, mix. This doesn't really look like it will have enough, enough sauce. Gabby's here, she's having fun in the other room. I really wanted her to be on the show. I even brought an extra apron. It was a no-go. She looked at me and went, mm, I don't think so. All right, so now depending on how much hamburger, I'm always smiling, Lydia. Popeyes is a life changer. Mm, I love Popeyes, especially the mashed potatoes and uh, Cajun gravy. That's one of my favorites. So we lost, okay, there's one piece of meat I'm gonna have to touch because it's still frozen. I gotta break it up. We lost power for... Between 34 and 36 hours, I can't remember, yes. Um, and it was it was very cold in the house. And uh, luckily we have a gas, gas logs. And so all of us slept in the den, Philip and I in the recliners. And um, I had my more Polish pottery neck warmer on as a hat to keep my ears and my neck warm. And then two blankets. And then each of us had a dog. <laughs> I think the dogs made better heating blankets than that did. Okay, so now this is our filling, if you will. We're going to dump that into our... Bless your heart, Dwayne. Yeah, everybody needs some Chick-fil-A in their life. There's a joke down here that if you gave the COVID vaccine to Chick-fil-A, everybody in Texas would be vaccinated within the week. Literally. That's how organized and phen phenomenal... The drive through is. Okay, so see, we just dump all this in here. Don't you like dump recipes? Okay, no, Lydia, you are correct. It does look like the start of a shepherd's pie. Now, why did I call it a barbecue cottage pie? And the difference is, last time we made this, um, I talked about this, a shepherd's pie, a traditional shepherd's pie is made with lamb. And, so, and I mean, get it, shepherd? watches over their flock. Okay, so a shepherd's pie traditionally is made with lamb. And I, our friend Anne from the UK, I haven't seen today, but I have another friend, Janet, and she's from the UK as well. And so when I call anything a, a shepherd's pie and I'm not using lamb, I get the, that is not a shepherd's pie. So if you use hamburger meat and you wanna be technically correct, it's a cottage pie, not a shepherd's pie. Okay, so there you go. Pretty, isn't it? Ta and da. All right. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Shoot. Okay, I'll do it now. I forgot to put some cheese in there. I put cheese on top, but I also put cheese in it. We're going to do, look at this. I got Gouda. Now, I got some extra sharp cheddar as well. You could mix your cheeses. Um, that would be fine. Uh, you can use what you have. You know, normally, good morning from Missouri, Carolyn. Good to see you. You know that normally I'm uh, that Mexican cheese. Look at this. This is Christie's. Isn't that cool? It has a little container on the bottom so you don't have to go get a bowl. And so you can shred your cheese right here. Except, look, that's going to make a mess on the counter. Mm -hmm. So it's a good idea in theory, right, that it all catches it in that little container. But I don't know. There are a lot of, um, I have a new thing I got. I got to share with you. Anyway, so then the power comes back on after we froze to death. It wasn't that bad. And um, then the pipes burst. 
So the first pipe burst in the master bathroom, and that meant that the master bathroom, I need more cheese, the master bathroom and the master bedroom flooded. It was not a pretty sight. Water everywhere, we're mopping, we use every towel that we have. Finally get the water turned off, because you know how what we had to do? My husband is has got this big tool running around the front door, front yard, that's covered with snow, by the way, looking for the valve for shutoff. You know, like we gotta dig out the thing. So I call Glenn, Christy's husband. Where's the shutoff valve? Because Glenn knows everything. He goes, oh, it's right by your back door. <laughs> anyway, so we got the water shut off. I called the insurance company. We got we got everything cleaned up. It was bad. So then he goes to fix it, and he thinks he's got it kind of fixed with epoxy. And we turn the water back on, and it holds, but then the utility room. So the utility room floods. Hey, Susan, good to see you. The utility room floods, and then it goes all into the garage, which is where all the musical equipment is. Oh, who cares about all my yarn that got wet? The guitars, the, you know, the, the speakers, the amps. So anyway, um, I just keep shredding, don't I? Uh, might as well do the whole thing. Because you know, is there so much thing as too much cheese? No. All right, so I just keep telling the story. Oops. Okay, that's okay. I'll do this for the rest of it. Anyway, so um, turned off the water again. So then he used this epoxy stuff and he thought it was gonna hold. It didn't. So I saw this thing online. This is so bad. I saw this thing online that said, if you go to the auto parts store and get some radiator hose and these clamps, it can be a fix. So I tell him, now he's working every day. So he comes home from the hospital. He goes to the auto parts store. He gets the radiator hose. He cuts the pipe. He, we have to find Vaseline. I don't use Vaseline. The last time I used Vaseline was when my kids were tiny, but I still had some. And he gets it on there, cuts the pipe, gets the hose on there. Poof, it works. So then he did the utility room. So we still can't take a shower because all those tiles, he had to bust out all the tiles in the shower. And, but we have water. And that means we can shower. Oh, who knew? Who knew that a shower was so awesome, right? Okay, here we go. I took a shower in the sink for a couple of days. We boiled water because I have a gas stove. That is not the same thing. All right, so I put about a half, there's about a half of a cup. Um, can I get the, the stirring thing back? I have about a half a cup. Really what you should do, it's okay that you're late. Um, I should have mixed this in here when I was doing the mixy, but I was chatting, I was chatting too much. Did anybody else, I, Michelle, did you have um, leaks? That's the big thing down here. And there's no, um, Christy will tell you, Everybody was calling Glenn. Yes. Christy, come tell him about poor Glenn. He was the most popular person that day. Yep. Because you get everybody, that. everybody wanted to know if he could come and fix their pipes. So all day long, people were calling. But unfortunately, we didn't have any supplies because he's not a plumber. He's a general contractor. So... He's still looking for supplies to help fix everything for people. I know. And so he went, he told me that um, he, the next day he was at Home Depot and he was in line. Like they didn't open till eight and he was in line at um, like seven thirty or seven and waited in line that whole time. Okay. Here's our instant mashed potatoes. We're going to put on top. He was in line that whole time. And then they came over the loudspeaker and said, there are no plumbing supplies left. There was nothing. And then he went on Amazon looking, nothing. So it was, it was icky around here. So I'm very grateful for my MacGyver husband who, who actually, so I said to him, you saved the day, you saved the day. And he said, well, no, actually you saved the day because you found that thing. Who would have thought that some goofy thing you saw on the internet would actually save the day? All right, so I'm not doing a great job of spreading the mashed potatoes because if I did a great job spreading the mashed potatoes, you wouldn't see any of the hamburger meat or the carrots or the peas. But it's okay because it's gonna taste lovely. Now, the most important thing on the mashed potatoes on the front is to make sure the mashed potatoes cover everything. How much mashed potatoes you say? Well, I did 
four uh, for four people because it says for two people or for four people. If you like a ton of mashed potatoes on top of yours, uh, you could do it some more. If you are making mashed potatoes, I'd say probably maybe two big potatoes or three or four small to medium potatoes. All right, so there we go. We have our mashed potatoes everywhere. Um, I'm gonna need one of those again. And then we're just gonna top this with cheese. Now, I watched Gor Gordon Ramsay the other day, and he does this thing where he takes the fork and he makes peaks so it's all pretty. I'm not doing that. All right, so the rest of the cheese. So we put about a half a cup in. So I'm gonna put a cup to a half, or half a cup to a cup on top. Really, you want that. Thank you, Alice, I appreciate it. Hey, Donna Donna, good to see you. All right, so just spread that puppy out there. And then this is gonna go in a 350 degree oven for about 20, 15 to 20 minutes. Remember, everything in here is already cooked. All right, so look, ta-da, oh, that light is just unbearable. Look, there you go, ta-da, is that better? Can you see better? Okay, so Christy's gonna put it in the oven. We'll put that back. And then I'm gonna show you what's, what time, and I have to see, what time is it, Christy? Okay. Oh, we're doing good on time. Yay, we're doing good on time. Okay, I have to show you. Here's the new thing that I got. I have to show you before we start the next thing. You know, I'm always share. I make no money. And nobody sponsors me. Nobody sends me stuff for free. It's just when I find something cool, I want to share it with you. Okay. I saw this thing on the Pioneer Woman. And so I went online. I went to Amazon to order it. And then it said it would be three months before I got it. And I'm like, eh. Well, I kind of forgot about it. It came. We had like 12 Amazon packages yesterday. So funny. So, how many of you, raise your hand, say me, how many of you have used a bath bomb? Tell me. I have. I love bath bombs. Now, I still have way too many because I don't take the time to take a tub bath which I don't know why, it's the most relaxing thing. Don't you think? Light a candle, turn off the lights, soak in the water, let all our stress go. And yet we don't take time to do that. But the bath bomb, I always thought it was so cool. It fuzzy, because it has bicarbonate in it. And it, it's so pretty. These, this is, this is the coolest thing. These are called broth bombs. Broth bombs. Whoops. There we go. There. Broth bomb. Now, the name of the company. What is the name of the company? I do wonder. Uh, uh, hold on. Oh. Well, we'll have to look at the we we'll have to look at the building. Anyway, so just like not enough time in a day. I know. All right. You wish there was a bath. There is a bath bomb for the shower. Um. Uh, we had two. I don't know where we got them, but one was like a eucalyptus, and you just put it in the bottom of the shower while you were doing, and it released all this stuff, and it was nice. Okay, so you open the package. First, let me tell you about this one. Look at this cute little picture on it. Can you see the cute? Well, that's stupid light. We're going to do that. Look at that cute little picture, and it says, earthy, aromatic, and deeply spiced. It will keep you warm and cozy. The name of this is Spiced Antiquity. So you open it up, these are so cute, and there it is. It's a broth bomb, and so it has sodium bicarbonate in it. So when you drop it in the water, it fizzes just like a bath bomb does. So I think this is really cool. And so this one, and they have recipes on it. So the suggested recipe is to add split peas, spinach, hash browns, Onions, riced cauliflower, chopped garlic, and water. And each one of these makes a gallon of stew. A gallon of stew. That's a pretty good size. So I'm just going to read you some of the names because I thought they were cute. Uh, this one is called Drops of Jupiter. It has sage in it. Uh, this one is called A Drunken Dare. It has a lot of red pepper in it. It has cayenne, black pepper, paprika, thyme, anise. This one, uh, where is it? Oh, there we go. Speckled rain. You can tell that's a bean. So it's for the bean. There were eight in this package. So I thought that was kind of cool. It was $34, but you know, eight. Uh, this one is called the Rubinator. The Rubinator. It has like anise in it. What did it have? Coriander, 
uh, beet powder, caraway, mustard seed. Um, this one is Scarborough Fair, like for pot pie flavor. This one is Stone Broke Dharma. So it's like a, a garam masala curry kind of flavor. And then this last one is Gazunite. <laughs> Look at that. Gazunite. And it is uh, turmeric, ginger, rosemary, cloves, and black pepper. Isn't that cool? Anyway, so I thought these were, were awesome. Um, and so what's the name of the company? Well, I can't see the name of the company. It doesn't say it on there. Oh, I didn't know if you needed me to read it. <laughs> well, maybe. Well, you can look on there. You think it would be on the package, don't you? Made by hand in a shared commercial vegan kitchen. That's why it doesn't say to put any meat in it. The patent is pending. Don't you think if you were wanted to sell stuff, you would put your name on here? Maybe it's just Broth Bomb. Maybe that's the name of their company. Anyway, Broth Bomb. There you go. Christy, you want one of these? Yeah. Which one do you want? Uh, the speckled... Speckled bean. Speckled bean. Okay, so, speckled so this... Brain. Oh, that, that's for like pinto beans and mm -hmm. oh, oh, and it's got ancho chili, <gasps> hatch pepper, clove, allspice, paprika, yum. Okay, so she's getting the speckled bean. Okay, you have to let me know how that one turns out. And we'll do one on the show next week sometime so that you can see the fizziness, okay? All right, so that's my new thing. We got to make dessert because I wanted Gabby to have something that was fun for dessert but, you know, still good. So, here we go. Mm. I'm going to get, ooh, the big one. Here's the big one. You're going to go look for those. I, like I said, I got them on Amazon, and it said it would take forever, but, you know. All right, we need a brick, eight ounces of cream cheese. Now, this sucker has been sitting out for hours. If it doesn't cream up well, bad things are going to happen. I'm going to have words with the cream cheese. Christy has, oh, thank you, Lori. There it is, the brothbomb.store. There you go. You can buy it directly from them. I think I got it. Oh, maybe I did get it directly from them. It wasn't from Amazon. I'm sorry. It was, a, it was their website. Sorry. You know, so many things from Amazon. Yesterday, it was like package overload. It was like Christmas, except only one of them was for me. Everything else was for somebody else in the house. All right, so... Christy has this thing on her refrigerator. I have to tell on her. I don't like it. There's a sign on her refrigerator that says, your pants don't fit. Make better choices. Boo-hoo! I'm saying, eat, drink, be merry, and buy new pants. That's what I'm saying. That's the choice. The better choice is to buy new britches. Just saying. But my EMS pants are like $75 a piece. Okay, well, EMS <laughs> pants are very expensive, so she can't do that. All right, eight ounces of cream cheese. Um, we may, we'll see. I may need a wooden spoon. We'll see. And then we're going to put in a tub of, oh, they're also on Amazon. Okay, thank you. I, I, I watched it on, I think, Pioneer Woman. Now, I'm going to use the entire tub this recipe, some of these, when you do this recipe, some of them, um, whip, you know, whip topping. This is the generic, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, some of these recipes call for, yeah, I think I'm going to use the wooden spoon. I don't think I can, I don't think I have yeah, enough. These are a little flimsy. They're good. And, and you know what? I know I'm going to use it when I right. do something else, but I just need the wooden spoon to get through here. Um. Some of these recipes call for, uh, if we're going to, it's a great strawberry salad. Some of them call for um, sour cream. Mm. Sour cream and cream cheese. Okay. But, you know, I wanted Gabby to have something that was really sweet, not like adult sweet. So, instead of using sour cream, I used Cool Whip or, you know, frozen whip topping, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Good enough, I'm saying. This is when you need the potato masher and you just go, die lumps, die. Okay, good enough for me. The rest, we can use the spatula. La. Okay, see, that's why the spatula is better, right? All right, so then um, we need some sugar. 
Here we go. Ooh. This was another thing I didn't bring. And we need just white granulated sugar. Is that how you get it off? Yeah, push it on top and then pull it. Oh, look at that. Hold on. Look at this. Here's the thing. It's stuck. You push the button, it pops up, and you lift it up. Oh, I like that. All right, so we need three tablespoons of sugar. That's about three tablespoons of sugar. There we go. You know how I measure. You can measure. Please feel free to measure. And then we need two teaspoons of vanilla extract. We need to give Christy some of our homemade vanilla extract, don't we? Because we made homemade. She needs a spurtle. She does need a spurtle. <laughs> Everybody needs a spurtle. So, did I say teaspoons or tablespoons? Teaspoons. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Okay, there you go. That's not so hard, right? Cool, I mean, whipped topping, cream cheese, sugar, and vanilla. It already smells heavenly. Yeah! Okay. Now, here's what I'm going to do. The initial recipe says to add the fruit, toss it, and the topping, what you top it with is three tablespoons of brown sugar and three tablespoons of chopped pecans. I'm not saying why you need it as a topping. I think if it's good enough to be a topping, it should be all over, right? What do you think? Is that okay? Mm -hmm. These containers came from the Mexican food restaurant. One had green sauce and the other had red sauce. The green sauce is my favorite. Okay, so three tablespoons of brown sugar. That's light brown sugar, okay? Doesn't matter. If you have dark brown sugar, you can use that too. Christy, you know the difference? What's the difference between light brown sugar and dark brown sugar? One's lighter and one's darker. <laughs> there you go. One has more molasses in it. The darker one has more molasses. All right, so three tablespoons of brown sugar. Good morning, Sherilyn. Hey, Sherilyn, I got to share something with you. Is Vicky on? I didn't see if Vicky came on or not. Um, and I don't think Rebecca's on this morning. But I was going to show you guys what I brought over here. This is how I got here. Look at this. Do you remember this, Sherilyn? Did you have one of these homemade gourmet totes that we toted everything in? This is how I got here this morning. A long time ago. All right, so there's our mixture, and now we're gonna add our fruit. You have some options. We already washed our fruit. I splurged and got the tricolors. Ooh, ah. You could do, um, you could do just green. You could do just red. You could do just black. Wholly up to you. Um, I'm gonna have Christy start pulling, pulling grapes, but, because I'm gonna work on the strawberries. All right, so see, there you go. And you have your choice. You can just throw them in or you can cut them in half. We're gonna throw them in. Sherilyn, you still do, yep. Yeah. All right, Christy's gonna pull the grapes off and now I'm gonna go to town on our strawberries. Oh, Sherilyn, you had broken pipes too. I'm so sorry. All right, so for the strawberries, here's what I'm gonna do. Um, you can, you know, you can dig out the core. I don't normally do that. I normally just cut it off. And then I'm just gonna cut them in half because that's still a good size bite, all right? You know how my knives at home all have that on it? Look at this. I don't have one of these. <laughs> New gadget. This is Christie's paring knife and it has the, the little indentations and it's shaped just like my, my chef's knife. She said she got it at Costco. I'm just saying. Anybody else have one of those? Janet, we're making cottage pie. So Janet is, the, is my friend from England, and she's the one that would get very upset if we called this a shepherd's pie because we were not using lamb. And so she's the one that taught me the rule. Okay, that's a really big strawberry, so I'm like cutting that in smaller pieces. There you go. So, um, Sherilyn, there was one other person, I think, not very many. Use a straw. Yes, I saw that on the internet. Um, but I want them in half. And I don't care. I mean, nine times out of ten, that middle doesn't bother me. Has anybody else used the straw technique? Because I think it's a good thing. I don't know that I necessarily have straws in the house. And now I got on a whole straw bender, you know, when they outlawed straws bad. 
Um, hello, Anne. Good to see you. Yesterday was Philip and I's 24th wedding anniversary. And um, uh, so Facebook shows you all the, you know, the memories. You have a strawberry huller. I don't know. Okay, the straw technique is you take the straw um, and you can go from the bottom and you put the straw, like this is a, pretend like this is a straw. You take the straw and you go straight down and it poof and it pushes the hole and everything out. And then, then you see that round part in there? Then that round part is gone. So, it's nice. Thank you for saying happy anniversary. Anyway, the memories on Facebook were of all the, you know, it was like last year, this time, Philip and I were on a cruise. And we were in Cozumel, and it was lovely. This morning, there was another memory, and we were on a cruise. And I just am sad. I wish COVID would hurry up and go away so that we could all go cruising again. Cruising. I like the swish, swish, swish. Thank you, Patricia. I appreciate it. So, so, so something funny. You guys, your sister-in-law, broken pipe, ceiling collapsed, water everywhere. Yeah, there's nobody to fix anything, Susan. All the plumbers are backed up for weeks. So, aw, thank you. I'm so happy that I married such a silly, goofy guy. Because he's willing to go do goofy stuff. On one of our trips, we learned how to make sushi. We went to a sushi making class. Have you ever done that? Yep. It was kind of fun. Um, and then, because we like sushi. And then one trip, we did um, this thing. It was uh, in... I think it was in Cozumel. Well, I can't remember. Anyway, um, and so they had this 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 uh, trip, and it was called. Oh, here's a straw. Let's see if that works. I've never done it. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go take the straw. I think this is how you go, and then straight down, and we go. Well, maybe I didn't. Maybe you have to have a stronger straw. This. Oh, there we go. Look. Poof. Oh, it's like a tree. La, la, la. Okay, then we take that out, and there it's hold. <gasps> la. But the problem is, I don't want that part. So, good idea. Now we've done it. We know how it works. But I still want it this. You enjoyed a different... Yes, we had a water theme anniversary this year. But not the kind I like. Um, and, of course, on our anniversary, he was working in the ICU. Happy anniversary to us. So, yeah, Valentine's was kind of poo-pooed, and then the other was. Okay, you ready to put them in? Yeah, I didn't know if you wanted all of them or just some of them, so. Oh, let's just dump them all in. Okay. There's enough yumminess in that sauce. Okay, so she just dumped in all of our grapes. We have all of our strawberries, and then we're just going to give this a toss of yumminess. Now, thank you very much, Susan. I appreciate it. So, remember what we put in here, eight ounces of cream cheese, an entire tub of frozen whipped topping that, of course, we thawed, brought to room temperature, um, three tablespoons of white granulated sugar, uh, what else, what else, what else, um, vanilla extract, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and then the topping, so you can do it that way, did all this, and then you could put a topping on it of the brown sugar and the pecans. I just think it's better that every bite is perfect. And if you put it on the top, and then you're getting something from the bottom, no brown sugar and pecans. So, there you go. Thank you very much. Um, he's working today as well. He works, he works every day this week. He worked every day last week. He works every day. And Christy, you know, it's, it's easy to talk to Christy. And it was so funny when she said we could come over here and shower because... Um, I said, we talked about COVID cooties because she and Philip both work in the medical industry, right? And so when they come home, they're both covered in COVID cutie, cooties. Mm, I'm sorry, but mm, so good. And so both of them like undress, put their clothes immediately in the washing machine and don't touch or kiss or hug anybody in the family until they've showered thoroughly. So she understands my plight at home because she lives the same way. Okay, here we go. La and da, look at that. Look, look, look. Ooh, ah. Now you could put it in a nice serving bowl. I would just, I mean, you could be lazy, just leave it in here and eat out of here. Um, how about, if you don't mind, you got a small bowl? 
or a, yeah. or something, and you and I you and I get one for each of us, and we'll taste. And then it'll almost be time. Katie, good to see you. How are things in Grapevine? Be clean. I think uh, I think Christy's OCD. She's been cleaning as we go. Oh, I'm trying to keep because it's such a small area for you, and I don't want you to knock anything over. Oh, I I know, right? All right, so here we go. I'm just gonna put a little bit in both of our bowls. There we go. Except you didn't get a strawberry. You have to have at least one strawberry, don't you? Yes. There we go. All right, and then let me put some in my bowl. Okay, but I need more than that. Okay, here we go. Taste test. You have to get over here so they can see your face. It's not a true thing unless they can see you taste it. Okay, I'm going in for a grape first. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. What do you think? That's really good. I might cut the grapes. But if you're lazy, doesn't matter. I think just because these grapes are so big. Yeah, these were monster, really big they're grapes. monster grapes. Look, they're monster grapes. But I have to tell you, it's really cool when you're eating it. Because all that juice from the grape explodes in your mouth. And then you've got that creamy sweet that follows it up. Mm -hmm. mm. Easy, too. Mm -hmm. Would you make this? Will Gabby eat it? Win-win. Mm -hmm. They have dessert for days. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's time to check on our cottage pie. Mm. Are you ready? Okay, before we do that, I got to show you one other thing. You got to see this. Whoops. This is Christy's calendar. Now, you don't need to know what she's got going on in her life right there. But you see those little blue, green, purple, and all of that? Each one of these is something that she cooks. Oh, it's backwards. Well, anyway, so it says like beef tips and balsamic glazed roast and sloppy joes. And so what she does, she made these. There's like little ticket things that she printed on and then she put a magnet on the back. And so then, that goes there. Then she puts it like that says corned beef, but today is Tuesday and it says shepherd's pie, even though it's cottage pie. Cause there you go. <laughs> so there you go, isn't that cool? I thought it was very cool. All right, we're gonna get, you wanna get it out of the oven? Can you put hot stuff on your cabinet? Yeah. Well, okay. I mean, I do. I don't know how I'm supposed to. Well, uh, oh, I think... wait, but this is... Maybe not with this dish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But I'll put this down if you... If, if you or if you're concerned. There we go. We'll protect. <clears throat> okay, the cheese is all melty and bubbly. Oh. All right, so I'm going to tilt. Can you see? Look how lovely that is. Now, we do have to taste this, but it is their dinner. So, Christy and I are going to get, you want to get a spoon. We'll just eat out of the cabinet, because I mean, out of the bowl. We're just going to have one taste. <clears throat> Although, she, she and Gabby may eat it for lunch, and Glenn may get none. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's going to be really hot. What, where do you want to eat? We'll eat off the same side, so we don't mess okay. it all up. Okay, we'll get, Christy gets first bite. Okay, make sure you blow a lot, because you know, right? And did you get a carrot and a pea? Okay, I yes. have to get a carrot and pea. Okay, ready? Get over here so they can see you. Okay, ready? One, two. Is it too hot? Mmm. Mmm. You know what it reminds me of? is a barbecue baked potato. Yeah, it does. Doesn't it? Mm-hmm. It tastes like, you know, you have baked potato and you put barbecue in it. Mmm. Barbecue baked potato. Do you think Glenn will like it? Mm-hmm. Will Gabby eat it? Mm-hmm. There you go. Two thumbs up. All right. Well, we're done for the day. Whoo. I hope you guys liked our field trip. I'm very excited that Christy let me come over. Um, you know, I've never done this anywhere else except my kitchen. You know, Cindy's kitchen. Hello. So I was a little nervous. I didn't have Jessica. Christy's worked all night. She didn't get home till late. She hurt herself this morning. So she's, you know, she's got a gimpy arm right now. And I'm like, oh, yes. A Texas cottage pie because it's barbecue, right? There you go. A Texas cottage pie. So Christie's gets, look, it's like, it's like, uh, let's make a deal.
Christy not only gets a Texas cottage pie, but she gets the beautiful uh, 9 by 12 or 10 by 12 Polish pottery yummy dish. She got a new mug. Mm -hmm. Not this one. This one's mine. But she now has a piece of Polish pottery. She got a soup bomb. And she got dessert. It's a big day at the Danforth house. I'm just saying. All right. So you guys have a great day. Thursday is going to be huge. Thursday, we're doing cooking for a cause. And so there's a mission. There's a local mission. Uh, it's a shelter for um, women and children. And we're going to be cooking lunch for the shelter. So that's, look, oh, Gail says, thank you, Christy, for letting us invade your home. Jan says, you were a great hostess. There you go. Yes, I'm going to really try to be on my regular schedule. The only thing that might give a hitch, we had a loss in our office. Um, uh, we had a medical assistant, Mary, who had, I, I'd ask you guys to pray for, and, and we lost her to COVID. Um, and her memorial service is this weekend. So I'm not certain about Saturday yet. Um, so I, I know, but we will be on Thursday, and then we'll be back on our regular schedule. So you guys have a great day. From Christy's Kitchen to yours, may your day be filled with quick, easy, and yummy meals. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you on Thursday. Bye.